Hello, welcome to Antic Gaming. We're playing Kerbal Space Program today, and I'm going to try to show new players how to get their space program started. Uh, you can notice I'm running a few mods, uh, as of right now, just the Atmospheric Enhancement mod, uh, Procedural Wings, and Fairings. Um, at the start of the game, uh, you notice that you don't have very much to start with. You're not really going to get into orbit or crash into the moon with this. So the first part of what we're doing is we're just going to get a capsule, um, name it something very sciencey, uh, you want maybe something Latin or genital related. Anyways, uh, what you're going to do first is from the pad you get a crew report and after you do that you store that go EVA, drop down a little bit and you get your EVA report. Also get a soil sample from the ground, jump back into the capsule, and recover your spacecraft. At that point you're going to get some science, hopefully the first science that you'll have, um, assuming no explosions, and this is going to unlock the new engines, and uh, a couple of decouplers as well. This is really going to help you get um, a better thrust to weight ratio and that's going to help you get it into space a little bit easier. Um, as far as right now we're not really going to go for an orbit again this is just to get new players into um, the intro stages getting some basic science so now we're going to use the new parts and we're going to build hopefully a suborbital rocket. So first thing we're going to do is add a decoupler um, very strategically placed antenna uh, we put our mystery science stew containers more or less haphazardly along the rocket. We want to keep the keep the weight centered. Uh, after that, we're going to start adding our first, well, actually our last stage. Um, after our boosters, we're just going to try to mess around here and get an appropriate amount of fuel. Um, and as far as right now, this is all pretty basic, so I'll just let the video explain itself. Um, a little bit of a mistake there. We want to make sure our engines stay attached to our rocket for as long as possible. And now we're adding on the booster stage. This is um, the science we just got. You'll unlock these little basic boosters. They don't look like much, but I have a <laughs> quite a bit of a punch for their size. Um, after I made this video, I realized I may have added a little bit too much to the boosters. Um, but as far as I can tell, after playing a little while, that's really not possible with this game, in theory. Uh, in practical use, you want to keep your speed below 200 meters a second while you're in atmosphere. Otherwise, you're going to experience drag, and it's really going to reduce your efficiency. And there we go. You can really see how powerful the engines are with this. It's really, really getting me going now. Um, yeah, I probably should have maybe just went with one. But I'm going to go ahead and ride this out, and let's go ahead and check on our airspeed again. Yeah, yeah, we're way above the 200 meters a second, but that'll be okay as we're burning down these engines right now. Uh, we're going to lose some speed, but luckily at about 9,000 meters, you're going to break through the first part of the atmosphere and really get into some thinner stuff, which will let your rockets act a bit more efficiently, and you'll get some more distance and, um, as they say, delta velocity out of these engines as they have less atmosphere to deal with. Uh, right now we're just going to go through and use one of our science containers to get some more some more science as we're climbing. Uh, another thing, since we added our communication antenna, we can send our crew reports back to the ground. Usually with, uh, with your reports you'll lose science uh, as you transmit, but with crew reports, since there are no physical items to transmit, you'll get 100% of your science return on that. Um, as of right now, I'm pretty much trying to reach a decent apoapsis, or an apogee, I guess, because we're not in orbit yet. Um, and from there, we're just going to kind of float in space and act quickly to harvest as much science as we can. Uh, I would usually recommend to try to get an orbit um, anywhere between 80 to 120,000 meters. It's getting a little bit close and doesn't allow much for, you know, much room for error at all. But for what we're doing right now, it's working just fine. Uh, at this point, uh, it's not really needed, but I just I like to keep my weights low. 
as I come back into the atmosphere. So I drop the last stage and I harvest the rest of the science I have with my capsule. Um, again, I, I, the atmosphere mod looks really nice. Um, if you know anything about modding, it's it's pretty simple. You just hit the items and you put them in your uh, your folder in your TSB directory, and it just starts right up on your next startup. Uh, just at my EVA report, uh, I forgot to transmit, so I'm gonna lose a little bit of science as I can do another another crew report once I'm in the ocean. But there's only about five science, so we won't worry about that right now. Um, as of right now, the biggest thing to worry about now is surviving. Which are low weight and a nice big parachute will survive that. Just wait for touchdown here, just a few more meters. And yeah, and there's our, our entry science. And with this, you can start the rest of your program. Uh, thanks for watching, and keep your eye out for more videos.